John Wooden once said, the most powerful leadership tool you have is your own example. This is entirely true for me and is one of the main points of my leadership philosophy. Having a personal leadership philosophy is important for many reasons. Having a philosophy leads to consistent leadership behaviors and actions. It influences and guides how you respond to people and situations. It also helps people determine your content of character by looking at what you value most. Lastly, it holds you accountable. You would hope that you always remain ethical in tough decisions, but if you don't have a clear definition of your values, you could be easily swayed. Knowing your leadership philosophy and keeping it in mind keeps you accountable to those statements. I've had leadership experiences in many ways. These have mainly taken place at work or school. I have led in many ways everywhere I've worked. For example, when I used to work at Renza and would work with new hires, I led them by example and showed them what to do, taking the position of a leader when a manager wasn't there. I'm also a leader in my current job. I've been working in an office for nearly a year and there's another new assistant who was just hired. She has been looking up to me as a leader to help guide her. In school for group projects, I often assume the role of a leader. Nobody else tends to want to step up, so I always do and get the project started and in motion and oversee things to make sure progress is being made. In the future, I hope to be a doctor, which means I will be leading by calling the shots for treatment and leading the medical team taking care of that patient. My personal leadership philosophy has eight points. These include, I believe that a leader must lead by example. I remain level-headed and persist in the midst of challenges. I learn something from every experience, whether it be positive or negative. I work hard to achieve and be successful in whatever I am doing and motivate others to do the same. I respect those above me and those who I am leading. I value competency and work to become or remain competent in anything I do. I honor trust and know that it must be earned. I value the process of communication from speaking to listening and written skills. All of the great leaders I look up to in my life have told me that leading by example is one of the most important things you can do. Leaders set an unspoken example about the kind of work ethic that takes place in that company or wherever else someone is leading. You don't want your employees to slack off just because you think you deserve breaks and don't have to work as hard since you're the CEO or a manager. Followers watch and learn from what their leader does, which is why it is so important to lead by example. For example, a leader can set the dress code by simply wearing a certain style of clothing every day. People will most likely begin to follow what the leader is wearing to match the dress code they have unknowingly set. A leader must remain calm in the face of a challenge or setback to ensure that their followers remain calm as well. You also need to come up with a plan of action and continue to move on and work through whatever challenge you may be facing as a team to ensure that the environment remains productive. One of the most important things you can do is look to learn something from every experience you go through. You have the opportunity to become wiser with every experience you have, but you just need to realize that and pick out the lessons to learn. This can help with getting your point across to somebody. I've noticed that one of the most effective ways to communicate something to somebody is by telling a story about whatever point you're trying to get them to understand. You can only do this if you take something out of everything you go through. Working hard to be successful is a pretty obvious statement to have in a personal leadership philosophy. Everybody should be working hard in whatever they do. For me currently, since I'm a student, I work hard to achieve a 4.0 GPA. I encourage my friends and other students that I tutor to also work hard. You may want to go out and have fun with friends, but that's not always a wise decision, especially when you have a test coming up. I motivate those that look up to me by pushing them to succeed and helping them believe in themselves. Respect is a huge factor in leadership. Not only do you need your followers to respect you, but you need to respect them as well. When somebody feels respected, they are more likely to work harder and be more content with their job or any other situation they're in. Mutual respect creates a positive environment, which is beneficial for everybody. A positive environment with happy leaders and happy followers creates an atmosphere with an opportunity for work to be done more successfully. You can't be a successful leader without knowing what you're doing. 
This is why I value competency. I wouldn't follow somebody who is not educated in whatever field they were leading me in. If I'm not competent in something I need to be, I work to learn everything I can. After that, I work to remain competent and keep up to date with new information. I honor trust and know that it must be earned. Trust is vital. In any form of leadership, people need to trust you. Once people deem you trustworthy, they are more likely to warm up to you. The clearest way to earn trust is by doing what you say and holding your word on any promises you make. You also To be an effective leader, you need to make personal connections. This can only happen if you have good communication skills. Not only does this involve speaking and listening, but written skills as well. There are times when you may only communicate with somebody through email, so it is important that your written communication is just as efficient as your verbal communication skills. My personal leadership philosophy contains points about leading by example, persevering through challenges, learning from experience, working hard, respecting others, competency, trust, and communication. Having a personal leadership philosophy is important because it holds you accountable. Roy Disney once said, when values are clear, decisions are easy.